Hi guys. So I'm going to give you guys a clip on how I heat my greenhouse in the winter. Um, before I would have this heater here, the space, an oil fill space heater on a tamer. So what it does is at night around nine, it will turn on and turn on the heater will turn on the fan will turn on and then around 6 uh, a.m. or so it will turn off and what and it worked for a year or two but then I feel like it's consumed too much power and there are nights where I don't need a lot of heat because this greenhouse um, trap a lot of heat and so um, it's not that cold at night so before I put it on a timer now though what i do now is a lot more efficient um it's no longer on a timer but it's actually on a, a sensor that sent that is the, the sensors right there right now inside the greenhouse is 56 degrees 56 um i set it to become it, i set it for this for this here to turn on at 42 and if it's get low, lower than that, it will turn on, and the fan will turn on, the heater will turn on, and this fan though, what it does is it's gonna blow the air this way. And you will see why. So it go below the the air this way, and then you see here too, and then it's gonna go that way. So the the cold air gonna circulate around the greenhouse due to that fan that's a you know pretty strong fan so it's gonna it's gonna push the air you know that way and it's gonna loop around that way and then it's gonna loop back into that fan so that's how it, that's how it works now I have a another uh, sensors for this heater here and this sensors it's set on for below 35 okay now if it get really cold and it fall below that temp this will turn on this fan will turn on and that will actually push the air more so the air from here is gonna push that way and then that heater will push the air this way so the cold air just keep on moving while it um, heat up the greenhouse with the two heater um, I, I never got this to turn on yet because it's not that cold uh, a week ago we got down to 22 at night and I don't think this was even turned on yet so so far so good now there's also I have four uh, uh, heater set up in here as a backup of a backup of a backup of a backup. So first is that that one right here. That's the main one. Next is this one right here. The third is this one right here. Right here. Okay, I turn this on when it is uh, 20 or below um, outside at night. So 20 or below out outside, I will light this up, and um, and that's it. Because uh, the reason I put it here, I put it here, and you see all the clear pathways. So that here fan will blow the air all the way to here. Okay, and then it push some of this warm air too to here, and then it's gonna loop around to this heater. So my air, my cold air is always moving. So there's actually no dead zone. Um, if your house, if your if your greenhouse is big, you know sometimes you will have like a cold dead zone where that part of the greenhouse is really cold, and you don't you don't want that. You want your your greenhouse to be warm all around and that's how I do it the next one is like a backup of a backup of a backup is this one here this is the Mr. 
heater is using a pro pro paint tank and this one will only I will only use this if the out the outside temp is 10 or below if the outside temp is 10 or below that's when I turn this on at night and the reason that I, I put this right here is for that fan to pull to blow the hot air you know to blow the hot air from that heater throughout the greenhouse that's the reason if I do use that one this this one here that's the reason I'll put it right there so you have warm air just moving around you know, it's just, um, warm air and cold air just moving around the greenhouse so you have no dead zone no part is too hot no part is too cold so that's how I set up my heater for this greenhouse and it's actually very efficient so far very actually so this here will turn on first this system here okay and then if it get below 35 inside the greenhouse then this system will turn on Re regardless if it's um, um, how hot or cold is it inside the greenhouse if it, is, if it is 20 or below outside then I will light this up okay and then I'll turn I'll turn it off uh, whenever in the morning when we, when we get some sun once the sun hit um, all the system will turn off by itself because when the sun hit this whole greenhouse will heat up so fast and the re the reason why this greenhouse is so efficient in this type of thing because this greenhouse has a lot of water water is a great way to store heat and when the sun hits this water will actually warm up you can actually feel it warm up and if you can see all of this container it's all black and this is where I raise my uh, my koi to sell all these containers are black so whenever the sun come up it will heat up all of this here heat up the uh, water and then it will make this whole greenhouse warmer and at night the temperature that's held in the uh, water will release and then will keep your greenhouse warm so that's how I keep my greenhouse nice and toasty in the winter so that's it so if you guys have any questions let me know and I'll be happy to answer uh, thank you guys Bye.